all right guys so this is where what we are up to today this is a bmw e46 uh, 330 diesel it's a 136 uh, horsepower it's a 2001 model so this car um, has the uh, airbag light on on the dash uh, I've already scanned it and it's giving me um, airbag driver side airbag uh, malfunction so I narrowed it down to the um, the ribbon there inside the um, the steering column there, which allows you to turn the steering and uh, still have connection to the airbags, to the horn, to the um, the controls of the radio, the cruise control, everything. So everything else is still working, except the airbags. So uh, the customer uh, says to me that it isn't worth to put a new part on. He doesn't care if the airbag still works or not. So today we are going to make an emulator um, for this car and I'm going to show you how it's going to be done. Uh, this is a two-stage airbag, which means that it has uh, two connections on the same airbag there. So these pl the, the wires we are going to be using is these uh, twisted pair, the yellow pair. I don't know if you can see it here yeah that yellow pair and underneath it you have another pair which is gray okay so yellow for the stage one um in the gray wires for the stage two so in order to do that we have to cut the wires and um uh, solder solder them together with the resistance in between uh, solder them together, the two yellows, and um, then the two uh, grey ones. So the resistor I'm going to be using is going to be a, a small resistance uh, resistor, which is this one right here. It's, um, I believe, from 2 ohms to 5 ohms something like that that I can show you like this let's see if I can do this with one hand only so let me just grab it like this and now like that okay so it says 0 0.6 or um, 6 ohms but it's because of the resistance that the wires themselves make. So this is um, from 2 ohms to 5 ohms, more or less. These are the type of resistors we are going to be using. Um, one resistor I'm going to be welding uh, or soldering it uh, between the yellow wires and the, another one just like this in the grey wires. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the wires and do it. So first off, we are going to see here, okay. Let me see if I can show you like that. Nice. So first off, we are going to make room and cut this, uh, this tape like that. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the wires and show you after because it's really hard to do it with, with uh, just one end. Cool. Okay, so this is what we have done. We have cut the two yellow wires and the two gray wires. The reason I cut them with different lengths is because I want to um, solder the one part of the resistance here the other one here and I want to leave it flat so I can put some shrink tube on on the um, over it so there's no bad connections there so I'm going to start doing it now okay so this is what I have done so far as you can see uh, let me see if I can 
focus on that as you can see now I'm going to um, solder it on both ends and then just feed a um, shrink tube over it and it will be done it will test it after let me just go ahead and solder it in place so it's um, it's done now it's all um, soldered in place as you can see here now it's just a matter of uh, putting some tape electrical tape around it or in my case I'm going to use some shrink tube which I um, prefer this is how it looks like and um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put some shrink tube over it now we have um, put some shrink tube over I've tried to find some black shrink tube uh, tube so but I don't have any more left and now we are in quarantine so the stores are also closed to buy it uh, anyway I'm going to fit some electric electrical tape uh, putting both together and um, securing them somewhere under there and uh, we'll try in a bit okay so everything is tucked away inside um, neat so now let's just uh, turn the ignition on and um, see if the airbag light is still on the errors are going to still be in memory but they are not active anymore it's a uh, one thing that bmws um, well these types of bmws do is as soon as you fix the problem the light goes away most cars even if you fix the airbag you still have to connect the the computer the the obd reader and uh, reset it uh, I will do it anyway because the errors are still in memory they are not active anymore hopefully let's see okay so the airbag light is over there it's off okay so this is exactly what we want okay perfect so it's working great now all I have to do left is um, just put everything back together which is a uh, two minutes uh, but yeah guys so this is just um, a video to show you how you can emulate an airbag this is not the correct um, way to do this um, because emulating the airbag means that the in this case the, the airbag driver will no longer work the customer he knows about this this is not a fix that I'm doing by my you know um, I didn't decide to do, to do it this way. The customer decided that he didn't want to spend any more money on the car. So we, um, it's, it, he won't be selling this car. Um, the airbag is not, no longer working. He said, I, I explained that to him and he said, don't, don't worry about it. Just uh, turn the airbag light on. I want to go to MOT or inspection or whatever it's called in your country. And this is why we do this. Uh, even if you have a OBD scanner and you scan this car, there will no be there will be no no error code stored after we reset it. And um, so yeah, guys, this is just to show you that it's possible and how it's done. Not the correct way to do this. Um, so yeah, hopefully it helps someone. Uh, maybe sometimes. When you change your steering wheel to a racing steering wheel, uh, you change your seats to a different seats and you need to emulate the airbag. This is the way you do it. It works on the steering wheel, it works on the seats, it works on the doors, it works on the eight pillars here, the curtain airbags as they are called. So, so you don't have any annoying lights there um, annoying you <laughs> basically that's what it is okay guys so hopefully you enjoyed the video uh if you like this type of content please subscribe to the channel and help the channel so we can keep on providing you some more um instructional videos so see you next time bye